Hello there, it's Mr. T. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the second method of creating a cam attached to the shaft. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch about halfway along. Remember the object is 200 mil long and I think I had 12 millimeters protruding. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a sketch. It's going to ask me where I'm going to sketch and I'm going to click the end. Ah, now this has come up and saying again that the component has moved so I need to capture the position and then I'm going to start drawing here. So what I need to do, I'm going to create a circle. So if I uh, circle, circle with a centre diameter, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to locate the centre point and the first thing I'm going to do is make a 9mm so 9, press enter. So I'm going to have a 9mm circle there. I'm now going to create another circle. Uh, circle. Again, same center point. And this is going to be about 20 mil, so 20, enter. And now I'm also going to create a ellipse. So I find ellipse is a little bit hard to do, so I want to go up to 35. Uh, so you click once and then drag out, and that time I want to go to 20. So there's my ellipse. Okay, um, the last thing, um, this is all a bit confusing. I've got my handle, I've got my sides there. So what I could do over in the automation uh, browser window, I can click on my bodies and I could actually turn off my left side and my right side. I could even turn off my shaft assembly. So that makes it a lot easier to see. Now the last thing I need to do is do a little bit of trimming to make this into a teardrop. So sketch and I can go down to trim or I could just press the T on my keyboard. So mouse cursor changes into a trimming pointer and then I can just move it over a line and that line is highlighted. Click on that line and it gets cut away. Secondly the inner circle and there we have it. So I'm going to stop my sketch. Pink. And I now have my cam already and not quite in the right position but not far off. So I have it actually on the end there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the left and the right side switched off but I'm going to turn my shaft assembly back on because now I want to uh, extrude it. So I'm going to create a uh, new component and it's saying select ah sorry cancel no uh, I'm going to create an extrusion um, so the first thing he's saying is select what do I want to extrude now you can see my sketch there is nice and clear however I want to tell you about something that happened yesterday I was trying to do this last night and I could not find my sketch what I've done, I'd switched the top light bulb off on my swoop sketch and I couldn't see it. The light bulb was illuminated next to the sketch. I'm going to call that actually, I'll, call, um, I'll have to rename that later. So, no sketch, click on the parent and the sketch appears. I could not work that out. But there it is. So, select the sketch. Um, it's asking me to drag it that way. I actually want to drag it right down there. Um, but if we come back to the extrude box, um, start, I'm going to have an offset plane. And the dimension I want to offset is going to be negative. Um, I want it to be one, minus 100, woo, not 1000, 100 um, millimeters plus the 12, uh, so that's minus 12 millimeters. So that's starting. And then the distance is going to be three millimeters. Um, so that's mm, three millimeters. Okay, now that's actually 
offset to one side by three millimeters. So I could either make this um, uh, one and a half millimeters less, so plus 1.5, which will actually make it in the middle of my box. Or I could have gone, instead of one-sided, I could have gone two-sided and made it one and a half mil either way. So the operation is joined. That's what we want. So click OK. And there we have it. So now, if I grab this, look at that. The cam goes round, which is much more successful compared to my last way I did that. Okay, don't forget to save your work.